we don't go down this way very often. Only for advent calendar. <laughs> All right, go. You're looking for day six. Uh, sure. Oh, thank you. I love my shirt too. <laughs> I, I snatched it from the kids section, huh? Oh. Yeah, the kids section at Old Navy. To be specific, the boys section. <laughs> Day six. Ooh, look at that. It's a beautiful blue snowflake. Mommy. Where's the hint, Daddy? This room or that room? It's in this room. It's in this room. Mommy. Yes, baby. Yeah, it's that. Oh, because it looks the same, the nine and the six, she's saying, because they look the same. All right, go look. It's in this room. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get away. <laughs> wow. She <laughs> found it, like, instantly. Okay, she's like, what, the table? Is the table my gift? Oh, yeah, yeah, I opened it a tiny bit. You opened it a tiny bit. It's okay. Here, let's pull it up here. Ooh. Let me see. Ooh. <laughs> you thought it would all come up? <laughs> Mommy. Mommy had some. Mommy? Yeah. It's a shepherd. Yeah, yeah, my kids a paper. Oh, is that right? I'll go ahead and tear it open. It will be a little second. I know, right? <laughs> Wow. wow! You're not even sure what it is yet, but wow! Let's turn it around. We've been wanting to get her one of these because she wastes a lot of paper. I know that's... I mean, granted, in school they waste a lot of paper, but I, I just felt bad. Like, you just don't see it. <laughs> yeah, you just don't see it. And as a parent, you're just like, oh my god, so much paper is being wasted. So I wanted to get her a board where she can like practice her writing and creativity without using up all this paper. We gotta plug it in. I think we need to charge it for a little bit though. <laughs> We're gonna go to where she usually sits. That way I can charge it right away. Come and follow me. Oh. <sighs> Come I'll get all these ready for you. Ooh, that is cool. Do you love it? Mommy? Yeah? Yeah, yeah, this grandma, wait, wait. What? Quickie. You gotta wait for the blue to come out, so it takes a little while. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Mommy? Mm-hmm. All right, I might need daddy's help here, because it's taking a while to get these going. Yeah. It took a while. We started shaking three at a time, <laughs> and I needed his help. Uh, but once it comes out, look at how beautiful the colors are. Look at that. Even even on like normal stuff, you see that? That's crazy. All right. So we're hopefully getting, we're getting this to avoid that. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it's gonna eliminate it because she likes cutting. I don't know, she's working on her cutting skills, so it's not gonna completely em eliminate paper usage, but. Hopefully it cuts it down by a lot. And she, Cause she can even do her ABCs and write her name and write sentences. Um, so that's cool. She doesn't write her on her own way, I love you. Yeah, in her own little you. ways, yeah. And then like cuts out hearts and then she'll cut like a box, like a present box. And then she'll cut a flap, open the flap, put some stuff in it, put glue, steal it and bring it to me. She's like, open your present. So I mean, she's super creative in what she does with paper. It's just every day I see that I'm, I'm sure teachers probably have to see it like bucket load right uh -huh. I, don't, I don't know why it gets me <laughs> but now you have this and look at how cool that is color changing you can also stop the colors from changing Mommy. if you don't like that um I know it comes with this yeah. remote do they see it it's kind of cool okay, so you could put it steady on like any color that you choose that way it's not flashing constantly and bugging your kid's eyes. What color do you want? Yeah, yeah. What color do you want? <laughs> you picked red? Yeah. It's like orange. Yeah, it's orange. Right? Oh. Oh. Strobe. Strobe. Stop the strobe. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, stop. <laughs> no, you're not done. Keep going. All day, actually. Yeah. Mommy and Daddy got stuff to do. Keep That's going. <laughs> Fun. I love you. And Pete, yes. 
Well, that's a pretty color. I wonder yeah. what it looks like at night. I'm sure it like glows even more, right? Yeah. It becomes neon, like super bright. Mm -hmm. It's nice you did. Clouds. Her clouds are so cute. Mommy, look. Grass. <laughs> <laughs> Pink grass. You've yeah. been watching a lot of uh, the, the Dr. Seuss stuff, so it makes sense to her. You know, green eggs and ham and all. <laughs> she also watched um, Lorax. She liked it a lot. I loved it a lot. I loved the story behind it. Did we say that? I feel like I'm repeating myself. Or no. I think we did mention that we liked it, right? Yeah. I love that movie. But when it came out, a lot of people were like disappointed with it. They're like, ah, oh, wasn't that great? I'm like, the story makes perfect sense. It's a great story. Yeah. Awesome. That's what got her to Dr. Seuss. Yeah, and then she started wanting to watch the green eggs and ham and yeah. We're supposed to be doing something, not watching her doing this. Like, this is our free time. We finally have free time. And we're sitting here like, hmm. <laughs> Jeez. All right, let's go get that coffee. Yeah, coffee at least. <laughs> Start with that. <laughs> Finally, a unique setup. I know, I was so excited to work out today just because of that. And, and leg day fell on the perfect days, and he's like 40 something degrees. It's like summer. And the last leg day fell on 17 degrees. It's a huge difference. So Super. I'm happy. Your gym looks bigger. Doesn't it? It looks magnificent. I love it. Um, we were so hesitant about moving the cage here because I was like, I don't know, like when people come in, will it be like, oh, we'll smash into that? I mean, I know they're not going to smash into it, but the inconvenience, because it was still dirty when we moved it, so we were like constantly like this, right? And I'm like, that's not going to work. But uh, once we did clear the space more, we should still have more work to do. You might get a glance of his mess. Um, he didn't clean it that day because he was unsure of his setup, but now you have something in mind, right? Yeah. So when you see it, try to ignore it, like I do. Like I should just look at my walls and that's it and nothing else. Uh, we're, so we're going to do leg day, <sighs> same thing, you know, uh, just feeling good because it's a different like mental state, different scenery for me. So that's fun. We also got the light in here. Um, however, no music for today because, well, when we record it's easier without music. That's more for when I'm solo and I want to blast music and annoy my neighbors because apparently my hubby tells me, you play your music so loud. Is it really that loud? It's not bad about this one. There's no reason. No, I don't know because when I played the song just now, I'm like, ah. But <laughs> it's really loud. Oh, no, sorry, it wasn't that bad. Oh, no? No. Hmm. So, uh, all right, then I guess and I won't then, be annoying my neighbors anymore. And the quality of colors might change because we're still we're still working on the light, yeah. And right now it's like weird because like we won't get light in the garage, and then when we do get light in the garage, it's like Phew. like the really strong sunlight once it decides to come in. This but anyways, we're gonna jump into this. Uh, I keep wanting to play, play, hit play, play, play. <laughs> uh, we're not gonna do that. Um, we're just gonna jump into it. But we're gonna work out and then. Hmm. What is it called? Like something that your clients always ask you about the holidays? Oh, I guess we can we can multitask. I'll try to talk after my set because I can't talk during my set. I suck at that. Like don't talk, don't try to have a conversation with me while I'm while I'm doing my thing. But yeah, I guess we'll multitask and see how that goes. If I lose points, just you know throw them at me because okay. I might become carb deprived <laughs> and then I might not know what I'm saying anymore. Um, Alright, so the big question around this time of year is how do you stay dedicated? How do you not ruin your diet, ruin your goals during the holidays? That's actually pretty simple. I think people seem to forget the holidays are like two days, maybe four days if you have a split family and you do like Christmas in two places, Thanksgiving in two places. Um, but that's really all it is. Four days. And I don't track. And I don't worry about it. I I just days. have fun. Uh, well, yeah, on those days. I just have fun. Because one day of eating healthy does not make you healthy. One day of eating bad does not make you bad. No, unhealthy. <laughs> um, it's not that crazy as everyone thinks it is. Just keep doing your thing. And the biggest, the biggest tip for our Mexican people is they have pozole 
that they think they eat so much, but pozole, pozole bowl is like they probably can't hear you. So Mexicans think that pozole is so like horrible and such high calories, but really I did the math and it amounts to nothing, but it leaves you feeling so grossly full that you feel like you picked out without actually eating enough. And then you get bloated because you didn't eat enough. I don't know, like I love Mexican food, but I feel like it always does that to me. Yeah, you know? you can't eat. Yeah, and then I can't eat anything afterwards. And then you eat like 500 calories. I feel like I always under eat over the holidays and people think that's crazy, but I think it's due to like, I'm so ready to pig out, but because mm -hmm. it's different people cooking too, like when your mom makes barbacoa, it's amazing, but like instantly I get tummy pain and blow, and then I can't eat anything anymore. Mole. Mole. No, no. Mole is fine. It's just that, that sauce, that chocolate sauce you gotta watch out for because that's like, oh, the calories on that is terrible. Uh, but no, her bagua, she puts a lot of condiments in it and then I have stomach pain and I can't eat anything so she's like banned, banned from doing bagua in her house because <laughs> it ruins my entire diet. I attempt to pick, like, pick like, foods here and there. Oh. The point he was trying to make is that people like to munch throughout the day and then in your head you feel like you've been eating all day but it's like tiny little things here and there that don't add up to much. I mean it depends on what you're munching on, right? But uh, that also makes you like under eat but assume you over ate. So like just don't overanalyze it. Have fun, enjoy the day, the next day, make up for it. Do cardio, do whatever you gotta do to make yourself feel better about it. Um, but yeah, it's only two days out of the month, four days out of two months. You got this. And by the way, I still get this question. How do you keep the bar from not locking? I use Velcro straps. You can just take them with you uh, to the gym because you're not hurting the equipment. You're not staining it. You're not causing any damage to it. And bam, no more worrying about locking it. All right, time to get started. <laughs> You're making excuses, you're telling yourself you don't have time. There's so many times where I'm like, oh, I don't have time, I gotta do laundry. Okay, well, I got my workout in and did laundry. And that was not an issue, but in my head, I made this whole thing of it being like a huge issue, because then I gotta fold it, and then I gotta put it away, and then I, I don't know, gotta do the next thing. 
your mind is powerful. It'll convince you out of doing anything. And your so, stuff's not going to be easy when you record it. And be, yeah, if I'm recording that, then yeah, it takes a lot longer to work out. Um, so a lot of times, if you could just shut off your brain and just go do it, you'll be happy. That's what I do. Um, I just got to stop talking about it, stop thinking about it, go put my shoes on. The whole time I'll be feeling like, I don't want to do this inside of me. But I just get it done. You'll feel better. Instead of getting frustrated it's and mad. Excuses. Yeah. It's those excuses. without that mirror, babe. Like, we need to shift it down. I'm so used to working out here because I like, see myself in the mirror. It's just a pain to do that. I know, because it, it's a round mirror, so like, in order to do it, we had to, I don't even know what we used. Did we just like frame things? That's a special thing from Ikea. Oh, I don't know. It took a while. It's staying there. <laughs> I mean, I think we should just put another one, because here when you lift the weights, you know, you see yourself, which is nice. Just buy another one. We ain't doing that thing over again. This time, not a circle. <laughs> people who've been following me forever. I'm gonna have to explain this because I get asked every time. Every time people see me do forward and backwards, they wanna know the difference, so it's all my newbies. All right, if you don't have an angled machine, there's no point. <laughs> do it whichever way you like. I always say, <laughs> look towards the best scenery. <laughs> if you like what you see in the gym, do it that way. If you're not digging it, turn and face the wall. To find out if your machine is slanted, you wanna look at the bar that's attached to the main bar. Is this bar slanted or not? Don't pay attention to the back or this one that has nothing to do with it. It's this bar. If it was straight, this is a straight stick, then you would see it going down, but it's angled. Now what happens is when I'm facing this way, going against the angle. So what does that do? Pushes me back. So as I'm going backwards, your feet should always be in front of you, by the way. So as I'm going backwards, it's pushing me back and forcing my glutes and my hammies to push me back up. Use the other hand. What? Use the other hand. Oh. <laughs> so it's forcing my hammies and my glutes to push me right back up. This is going that way. If you go this way, it's pushing me slightly forward. So what happens when you're getting pushed forward is your quads kick in for the lift. You're gonna feel it all here. You will always target every muscle in your lower body going either way, but one will be more, will be used more than the other. So that's why I switch. Uh, I personally like to hit legs too. I want my quads to grow. Hey, breathe a little. And so I just call you out on your legs, you thick. Oh, guys, like, you fit? Look at those legs, they're huge. Oh, muscle, baby, and I love it. It's like, people are funny. It's okay. <laughs> I think Hubby got more upset than me. He's like, how stupid are you? <laughs> anyway, so, now we're going here. And I do all three. So, I always said I like to hit all angles. The Smith machine has its perks. You get to lean back on that bar. You can do variations, you cannot do on free weights. Free weights is one way. 
One way and only one way. However, free weights does allow you to build up your core strength, it hits other muscles, you gotta work on balance. So for that reason, I keep all of it into my routine all the time. So yeah. And yeah, that bar is cool. That, that bar was cool too. Yeah, no, it's cool. I was fine. <laughs> it's fine. <clears throat> I'm gonna do that two to three more times. <laughs> and this is what two more sets did to me. Oh my god, that was good. That was nice. I saved some floor space. Since this is the next workout. I used to keep it. <laughs> uh, how did I keep it there? I don't even know. Uh, I find what works. But uh, now I get tucked inside my cage. <laughs> so some floor space was saved. Whew. With leg presses, um, just a disclaimer, because I know you guys see me doing it, and if you are working out at home or even the gym and you're doing it on a, on a Smith machine, first of all, if you're in a gym and they have a leg press machine, just do it on that, because there's no point in doing it on this. I do it because that's my only option. But um, you can't go as heavy, so it's very important to know that. Um, do a lot less weight and a lot more reps to make up for it. And I say this because it's not natural to have that weight literally on top of you. If you see a leg press machine, you're like on an angle. <laughs> it's, it's, it's holding you up. You're not flat on the ground with all this weight on you. And it could be pretty bad for your spine. What it's doing is it's like smashing it to the floor. So, I mean, you'll feel it because I did get to the point of doing that heavy and feeling my spine going kind of like flat against the floor and it didn't feel comfortable. I wasn't in pain, but I was just like, yeah, <laughs> let's not do that. So just, you know, I, you, you can easily see someone doing something and then you want to go and mimic it and you're like, hey, I could do way more weight. And it's like, yeah, you can, but you shouldn't, <laughs> kind of thing. But it also helps that this one's slant as a tilt. It does help me that it is like tilted because I'm pushing it to an angle rather than straight up. Um, but either way, just be careful, you know, don't do too much weight that you can't handle. See what you can handle, do, do what's comfortable for you. I ended up doing almost 20 reps on my first set. And I've had people be like, why don't you up the weight? You know, 20 reps is too much. Yeah, I like my spine, as is. <laughs> so, whew. Oh man, I put that bar too high up. Good thing for long legs. <laughs> for my handmaids. Oh, I loved it. So if you work out at home, you could probably use like your stair railing, your sofa, depending on the resistance because this, sometimes I freak out. Mm. I was using the cage and I felt like I was gonna pull it down. Even your stair railing. <laughs> Even your stair railing. Yeah, it's our basement one. All the drunkies grabbing on my stair railing. 
stop doing that. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, no, you can pretty much pull anything down. Be creative. If something is really planted into the ground, woohoo, you got something great. My Smith machine is a little heavier, so I'm, I'm, now I'm doing that. I, if not, I'll go back to that, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's yeah. secure, right? <laughs> it falls on top of me. No, I have all that weight on it anyways, too. Do you guys get like that really weird feeling, though? Like, we do a lot of reps and you max it out. I feel something. Like butterflies. Kind of like butterflies, like you're so anxious out of nowhere. Um, I get that odd feeling. I also get it when I do calf raises too. Yeah. But yeah. I feel that was in a different spot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. I just want to smush something. <laughs> Looks good. I cleaned my mirror. How long has it been that I cleaned my mirror? Because I couldn't really reach it. It was like in there. So I'm like, yeah, whatever. Dust, everything. I finally cleaned it. I have to check out booty games now. <laughs> uh, anyways, in conclusion to what I was talking about, don't stress about the holidays. I think you do more harm stressing about it than just enjoying the couple days that you get. So that was my point. I hope y'all enjoy your holidays. <laughs> No, we're not done. That makes it sound like we're done. We're trying to post a lot more this month. Um, but comment below. Help me out. You know, motivate me. Tell me what you guys want to see. I'm trying to lean towards more Christmassy stuff. We got so much snow in November and shit in December. And I'm like, I want to do all the wintery fun stuff and then have hot cocoa after we play the snow. And I ain't getting any of that. I'm supposed to get like seven centimeters of snow over the weekend. That stopped. That's just not happening anymore. I think it moved it down to Monday. Boo. So anyways, comment below, keep me, keep engaging. I will comment back to you guys. Comment to as many people as I can, when I can. Let me know what you guys want to see more of and we shall do it. If you enjoyed today's video, hashtag love it so I know you love it. Be sure to be subscribed, hit the little bell right by the subscribe button so you're notified every time you post a video. And until next time, bye guys. What a good video we come, no? Huh? With, uh, New Year's outfit. Oh, I'm gonna do a New Year's outfit, like a lookbook for New Year's. Oh my God, such cute pieces, sexy. Um, I don't know, it's gonna be awesome. So stay tuned for that, it'll happen hopefully very soon. Um, next week early, Monday, Tuesday. I just gotta wait on a couple more pieces to come. Comment below if you wanna see that. Later guys. <laughs>